What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to be talking about transport, more specifically membrane transport. So remember how I said your cell membrane is a lot like the walls of a house, right? It can do protection, it can do recognition, it can control who and what goes in and out of your house, right? The, a cell has a lot of function, your cell membrane has a lot of function functions, but we're going to specifically focus on the one of transport. We're going to focus on membrane transport in this video. So if you don't know anything about a cell structure, cell membrane structure, you really need to watch the cell membrane structure video first, where I explain everything about the cell structure that you need to know. That'll make this video a million times more easy for you. Okay, so let's just get into it. So for membrane transport, there are four, the deal is that you need to understand four kinds of membrane transport, including simple diffusion, osmosis, facilitated diffusion, active transport. Now, you need to know all of these, and we're gonna make them very clear in this video. Now, these three here in green fall under the category passive, okay? All of these ways require no energy, no energy from the cell, no ATP from the cell at all. It happens very naturally, very easily, and you'll see what I mean in this video. And then this other one here called active transport, it falls under the category of active. It's its own category. It is its entire. It is its own category, right? It is active. It requires energy. It requires ATP. So it's quite different from these other ones here. So let's just start with the most easy one, in my opinion, which is simple diffusion. Okay. So this is a passive one. So to understand simple diffusion, we need to understand diffusion. So what is diffusion? I have this beautiful, sexy diagram here, all made by me to explain this for you, okay? So here we have the outside. This represents the outside, and we have a lot of these little suns representing heat. So outside it's, guess what, really, really hot, right? But in the inside, it's relatively cold. There's only one sun here, so it's a little bit colder on the inside than the outside. Now I'm sure you guys have done this. Let's say it's a super hot summer day and you decide to be stupid and you just open the door and you completely forget about the door and it gets and your parents get really angry at you because later on guess what happened the house gets really hot right so we can imagine what happens here what do you think is going to happen right the heat is going to move from where there's a lot of heat to where there's a little bit of heat right these heat things will move in until the inside of the house is equally as warm as the outside right and this is where your parents are really going to be mad at you so what is this this was diffusion diffusion is quite simply a term used to describe the process of things moving from where there's a lot, so a lot of heat, to where there's a little bit of heat, okay? I can give you another example. It's basically, um, the simplest way of saying it is it, it is basically spreading out. Diffusion means spreading out. So for example, if we take perfume as a perfume, say you're about to go on a date and you spray yourself with perfume uh, on, your, on, your, on your armpit and you realize, oh, that's really, really, really strong, right? And then, you, and then after a while, you notice the smell gets weaker, okay, it gets diluted. That's because these little um, perfume particles started diffusing, they started spreading out, they started going from where there's a lot in your armpit to where there's a little bit, to the rest, to the outside world, to the, to the air, right? So it starts diffusing, starts spreading out, so it doesn't smell as strong anymore, right? So that's another example of diffusion, okay? So if you understand diffusion, then understanding simple diffusion should be very straightforward. So here we have, now we're going into simple diffusion. So what we have here is our bilayer, right? Our phospholipid bilayer, a membrane, a membrane um, of our cell. Now this area here is gonna represent the outside of our cell and this will represent the inside of our cell. Now remember that simple diffusion is an example of passive transport. It requires no energy and we'll see what that means right now. Now, when we talk about, I need to clarify this, when we talk about, when I'm gonna introduce these four um, examples of membrane transport, we're always gonna consider four key things, and you'll see what I mean. So these four key things is gonna be repeating throughout this whole video, and you'll see. So first, simple diffusion, the first thing we need to know is simple diffusion, it's just involving the membrane. Notice, there's no proteins here, no proteins involved in simple diffusion. So that's thing one. You need to understand it's simply a membrane. Now thing two is, remember we...
For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.